spirits and succubus. These are very real spirits. They are very real spirits. Your, your most vulnerable moment is when you're asleep. And a lot of times the enemy comes when you're asleep. These spirits, incubus and succubus, are very, very real and they're being dealt with a lot, especially now. A lot of people are having sexual dreams and actually having physical releases. They have a scientific name for it for young boys. They call it a wet dream. And it's when a boy actually ejaculates in his sleep. Well, something's very wrong with that because the dream he had that manifested that was a sexual perverted dream. And there was something very real that came in his room. And while he thought he may have been asleep, there was something really going on while he laid there. Incubus and succubus. Incubus is the non-physical, immaterial male sexual partner in congressus subtilis, which is sexual union with a non-physical or astral entity. I'll talk about astral in just a minute. Succubus is the non-physical, immaterial female sex partner. So the young girls mostly experience incubus, young boys experience succubus, or not young at all. Grown women, everything. They experience this, and these are kindred to what they call a mare demon. The Latin word for nightmare is incubo, which means to lie up on. That's where we get the word nightmare. In Africa, they call these spirits the night husband and night wife. You know why they call it that? Because most young ladies that experience this incubus spirit coming in can't get married. You ever met women that you just know should have been married a long time ago, then they're reaching 30 and 40 years old? No husband. You know why? Because this is a very jealous spirit. So when this spirit latches on and it's coming in in the night and it comes with a familiar face, that's why it's a familiar spirit. So to come as somebody you may know or somebody you may fantasize about or some recording artist, a movie star, it may come as in that form, but it'll come in and it'll jump on you and you'll feel it and it'll feel very real. And then every relationship you try to embark upon, something bad happens and it gets canceled and they run the man off. He don't want you. You knew it was a good relationship. You knew I'm just a about to get married sometimes you can't even have kids and you wonder what is going on it's because that jealous spirit won't let you go had a young girl who was experiencing this she told me she said every night something would come in my room and it would climb on top of me and it would literally just hold me down and fight with me and and it told me one day i heard it it said you're mine and i'll never let you go she said in every relationship she's ever been in with every relationship with a man has failed she could never have a good relationship with men she never had one it just every man something would always happen she said so finally there was this stud this butch girl and this girl came to her and said, well, I'll be your woman. She was like, okay, no man is working, so I'm going to try this girl. She said she never had any kind of sexual desires or, I mean, sexual relationship with this girl or nothing. This girl was just a stud that walked around and protected her. But what the girl was doing, because she violated something immorally, what happened was she said in the middle of the night, something would come in her room, hold her down, and she couldn't get up. She said, I want to see what it is. So one night she said she put a, a, a full-length mirror on the side of the bed so she could look in it. She said, and she waited that night. And she said, as soon as she felt like she was asleep, something came, it jumped on top of her. She said she woke up, looked in that mirror, and it was a winged woman over the bed, holding her down. It's real stuff, y'all. See, we're so comfortable. We just don't believe this stuff can happen. Why would we believe that? Oh, but we come in church and we believe the power of God. We believe in the, 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 that when we sing, the power of God will come down. We believe when somebody speaks in tongues that it's of God. We believe that when the sick is healed and all these supernatural things, oh, they're all good when it's supernatural concerning Jesus. But we don't want to talk about the winged women that's coming in our bedroom or the winged man or the night husband that's keeping us from being married. And we've been a, a single for so long and don't know why. According to many church fathers, an incubi, incubi is an angel who fell because of lust. According to Hebrew legends, the incubi is a lewd demon child of Lilith, which seeks sexual intercourse with men and women and can assume either sex in order to have sex with humans. 
This is real stuff, and there are people in here right now know exactly what I'm talking about because it's happening to them. Or a lot of times when you're married, if you're married, the, these spirits, they come in a marriage, and they'll come lay right in between you and your wife, and you'll have a dream that you married to, you and your wife are married, and some old girlfriend is in the, you'll have a dream that that girlfriend is laying in the bed with y'all, or that boyfriend. But you're not, it's not really a dream. Can I keep going? 